title of this article is Deny Self. Is it possible Christians are not as aware as devil worshippers as to who exactly they are worshipping? If you ask someone who is a Satanist who they worship, they will probably deny worshipping Satan or the devil. For them, the devil is an idea or a metaphor. They will instead tell you that they worship self. Christians should learn that they must deny self. To truly be a Christian and worship the one true God, we must learn to deny self. Many times I've seen Christians who are deceived into worshiping self or putting much emphasis on self. They listen and embrace man-centered Bible teaching and theology. Examples of man-centered teaching are those who teach Christians to love themselves or they emphasize self-esteem. Also, people who teach the Bible with the purpose of enhancing our lives or improving our lives border on the edge of this self-centered deception. We truly need to get as far away from focusing on the here and now and get back to a gospel which is rooted in eternity. We need to teach God's word from the perspective of eternity and not from the perspective of of improving our temporary life we are living right now. Those who constantly teach about self-improvement or emphasize the temporary life of this body are not really teaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. You will not find anywhere Jesus or the apostles teaching a message of self-improvement or living a better life now. These are man-centered and self-centered and are therefore better left for the devil worshipers to teach. The essence of worshiping Satan is to emphasize self. Think about how much self infects our culture. Self-esteem, self-love, these ideas permeate our psychological culture. Loving self is constantly taught as the method of overcoming problems. Self-confidence, these ideas are lifted up as the keys to success and living the good life now. However, these ideas are all rooted in devil worship, whether we realize it or acknowledge it. Any philosophy, religion, or psychology or philosophy which focuses on man and man's self-improvement will eventually lead to devil worship. Jesus taught his followers to deny self. He taught his followers to deny self, take up the cross, and follow him. The example of Christ Jesus is the example of denying one's own self and laying down one's own life for God. You can use a Bible concordance and verify what I'm saying. Look for scriptures which teach about denying self, and you will find what most, te- what most churches are preaching to nowadays has very little to do with what Christ taught his followers. May the Lord help us to reach, to teach the true message of the Lord Jesus and to repent of self. Let us deny ourself and take up our cross and follow Jesus. Amen.